back with another video and this one's gonna be on about knowing your worth because i'm not gonna lie guys if there's anyone this is gonna be knowing your wealth girl advice if there's anyone that actually gives me girl advice it's adjun things that adjun told me when i was moving away from home basically two things yeah one don't trust girls girls are bitches that's what you said <laughs> That's what you said. Or be weary. You didn't say all of them. You said be weary. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, never let a nigga know where you live. Because if you let him know where you live, he'll Pick never leave. Pick up <laughs> That's the two things. No. And you know, I'm telling you, those are the two things I live by. Oh. I live by them. You never let a guy know where you live. What thing a guy is going to do, he going to pull up. <laughs> he going to pull up. And it's like, they don't care. Oh, and if they know that you live alone, oof, child. Oh my god. So, what does knowing your worth actually mean? Because I feel like a lot of people actually don't know their worth and they love to scream self love so much so that it's actually not true, but they're trying to do the fake it till you make it type of mm. type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Self love, right. I believe the ultimate definition of self love mm -hmm. is understanding how valuable you are mm -hmm. to yourself right and how good how high god values you as well because mm. that's self-love and just not letting anyone treat you any less than you deserve because do you know what actually you know self-love and self-worth is i think i'm confusing the two okay Let's because sometimes self-love mm -hmm. you can love yourself to the to the scums of the earth you can be like this is you know I love myself, but I feel like I'm worth this. Okay. Do you hear what I'm saying? I, I do hear what you're saying. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. Because I wouldn't have even known the difference. This is why I brought her here. So now, what did you just describe? Okay, so I feel to like I was describing more of self-worth. Okay, now... Self-love right. is basically how much you love yourself. Okay. How much you value yourself is self-worth. Okay. And self-worth... You're talking about in the workplace, at home, with with niggas, with girls. You're talking about with everyone, not with just friendship. Oh, with... okay. Because you know, girls be trap them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how would you say you actually started knowing your worth? I think when it comes to knowing my worth, mm -hmm. I've known my worth for a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been confident. Okay, I don't know. I've been confident, but not confident, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'd be shy, you know, I'd be humble as well. Dude, well, seeing your, your photos when you were, like, 14 with the... Okay. It didn't look like... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look like you weren't too okay. confident. Okay, so anyway, mm -hmm. back to what we're talking about. Right. When people started trying me. Really? How were people trying you for you to... What, like, what was what, the how, tipping how point? How did people... <laughs> <laughs> people be trying people first time mm -hmm. i realized people were trying me it always starts with friendships because people are gonna push buses i feel like that's when you first realize yeah where people kind of value you because obviously you don't really start dating that young but yeah. you have friends around you and there's certain friends that will treat you a certain type of way because okay. they know they can treat you a certain type of way mm -hmm. do you get what i mean yeah and i feel like a lot of girls it's a lot easier to like be treated badly in friendships than it is with guys in a sense not always in a sense no, do you know what i mean i do get what you mean like sometimes your girls can get away with ish no guy could ever get away with do you get what i mean i do get what you mean yeah. especially when it's like disrespect i've been with the friends of them for like this many years mm. i've grown up with them they've mm. been with me you should actually go where you need to be treated 100 percent the best okay. like i feel like a lot of friendships don't get me wrong a lot of people have friends been friends with people that you know have done such amazing things with them but mm. i feel like friendships why am i talking more about friendships it's more about self-love in it this is self-worth self i feel like you came to me with the self-love conversation you know, i think i did as well but i'm putting it together but now it's, are you oh it's now it's now more than it, right because they need to go together they do go because as, as the more you love yourself the more you know what you deserve 
and yeah, the more your work right. Will so you would say you need to have self love to have good self worth, but you can have self worth and not have self love. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like you can feel like you deserve a certain standard of life. Yeah. With certain people. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you sit there and you're like, even though I deserve this, mm-hmm. I'm kind of ugly, you know? <laughs> I don't like my eyes. I don't like my nose. Yeah. Like, I wish this was a bit bigger. I wish right. that was a, you know? And that's, you, you speak negatively mm. on yourself, but you don't want other people to think negatively of you or put that's you in a negative yeah. That's true, especially when you're seen on Insta. Mm. All them, all them people that are looking exactly with the social media is a lie. They don't look that good in person. Oh, okay. She told you. I feel mm-hmm. like my first experience was yeah. actually in secondary school. Mm-hmm. Um, when some girl tried me, and she was my friend. Yeah, we was like really was like a friendship group. This girl, like she would. She would do these sly jokes where she's like sneak this in me. And I'm a patient person. Like I'm I'm not one to talk. Okay. But one day she tried me and I had to tell her about herself. I was just like, bro, I don't even want to be friends with you now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it was a thing where like then she was just like, Oh no, you're making it deeper than it is. I was just like, No, because at that point I realised Obviously, I my self love wasn't as great as it is mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. but the way I was valuing myself, my self worth, I was allowing someone to talk to me in a certain type of way, which was very unacceptable. But mm. I felt like because we were friends, it was just like, oh yeah, she's my friend. No, scrap that. Okay. So anyway, once I told her about herself, I was like, I don't really want to be friends with you no more. And then my other friend was just like, I hear what you're saying, mm-hmm. type of thing. Mm-hmm. And I was just like. E- she doesn't treat me like this you treat me this way this is not running and if this is gonna run count me out like right. deuces okay but anyway ever since that situation she was cool i'm not friends with her now <laughs> she has a reason but you know like yeah do you get what i mean and i feel like you just have to stick up for yourself then 100 percent stick up for yourself don't let people trample on your toes because People will try you to see how far they can push you. It's easier said than done. Like, we're so quick to like talk to guys about how what wrong they're doing. Why so is it we keep can't that same energy? We exactly keep that same energy with your friends. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. if someone is gonna be your in your inner circle, you yeah. only want them to want the best for you and right. treat you the ultimate best. Do mm. you get what I mean? Yeah. Your girls are your support system, mm-hmm. and if you don't feel like those people have your best interest at heart, yeah. they're not riding for you the yeah. way you'd ride for them yeah it's just there's no point like maintaining that relationship okay how do you show self-love oh child i show self-love by spending money on myself and mm. it's a big problem <laughs> it is a very big problem when you have a bad day do you know what i deserve it when i have a good day you reward yourself <laughs> that is, you. That I is know me <laughs> and that's the problem like i'm just like do you know what mm. i just in need to pamper myself today and then i'll go and get some you know facial stuff mm-hmm. i'll get a new body wash like a new body scrub and get my nails done mm. and toes done and just be like yes now i feel good i would say but at the end of the day obviously you know we need to be financially intelligent right but yeah. you know do things that make you happy at the end of the day like life is short mm so people practice self-love in different ways journaling i would okay. say that's something that i learned this year because oh my god so did you start journaling too i actually started journaling too really? i it's actually so journal good. i journal i actually it's journal so good no, i feel like when i started journaling mm. that I was at the peak of Fun. my self-love <laughs> Because yeah, at right. the end of the day, but I have this app and it kind of gives you prompts mm. for journaling. Mm. And the week where it was just like a self-love week actually. And it was just like every day you have to t- tell yourself why you love yourself, why really? you're so special. And it's crazy. Day one, I kind of struggled. I was like, damn, like I know I'm, I'm lit. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like you can carry, I had a lot of self-worth, mm-hmm. but when it came to self-love, yeah. it wasn't as high. Yeah. And like by the time it came to the end of the week, I was it was so easy for me to speak positively of myself. Right. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And 
I feel like it's a lot of people actually struggle. Like our culture, our online culture, I would mm -hmm. say, we say like, oh yeah, because you know I'm that babe. Da -da -da -da. Like people will be talking mm. about themselves, but it's like it's rehearsed. It's mm. actually not coming from within. Like if you ask someone like, what are five things you find so special about you? You will actually think mm. for a minute. Like mm. it will take you some time. What app was that, by the way? I'm not plugging them because they ain't paying me. If you come to me directly, I'll give it to you. I I don't I don't actually journal every day. I started journaling every really? day. It's really good. I've just kind of stopped, but I'm getting back into it. Do you know what was with me? There was one day I just I was going through it. And you just just started. I was, I, and do you know what it was? I couldn't even tell anyone. It like exactly. You actually feel it when, exactly. When I wrote it down, I was like, do you know what? I wrote it down. I prayed. I could I could move on. I could actually move on with. That's my another life. thing. Praying. Pray. Oh my sure. gosh. Come you will be so surprised how much praying helps with self because even just no i'm not gonna just put it on praying scrap that i'm actually gonna say reading a devotional mm -hmm. reading okay. a devotional mm -hmm. because when you read a devotional it kind of explains to you like yeah. why god loves you so much yeah and then why you should love yourself mm -hmm. how can you not love yourself <laughs> and then you then what? pray on it. like <laughs> it's just like no, you're true. stupid do you know like, no because cause honestly, praying on it you're just saying what's on your mind but yeah. when you like read taking information that's yeah. positive it's true and you know what is i even back you with that with devotions yet yeah, about like self-love and it will actually give you verses that are actually saying it like i'll say you're different and wonderfully you made at the height honestly who am i <laughs> <Right now. laughs> nay we are more than conquerors i go thinking i am a conqueror what the hell bro no, you did, bro as in no Oh my gosh, I'm made a little bit lower than angels. I'm his heir. I'm, because I'm actually a princess. That's the thing. I understand. I'm actually a princess. Like, because my God, God sacrificed his whole son. But no, deep it. Deep his it. Whole, deep son. whole son. Would you even sacrifice that wig that's on your head? No. Nope. Exactly. The lashes. Nope. Bro, we your makeup. Love. Yeah. We can do that. Okay. I would say taking in positive information. You'll be so surprised yeah. how stuff you see on social media mm -hmm. kind of makes you feel less than who you are. Yeah? So, like, for example, like, unfollowed a lot of, like, the Shade Bar, the Shade Room. I don't really follow them. Because I feel like sometimes that negative information kind of creeps into you and you just start thinking negatively. Mm, and then, no, like... And you start speaking on topics that have don't even concern you. Don't concern you. Mm. Then when you have that negative mindset, you actually kind of think negatively of yourself. Do you get oh, what I mean? Mm. Like, it's not necessarily that you may see something like, oh my gosh, she's got a bigger bum than me. Mm -hmm. But, like, it, because of your mindset, mm -hmm. it will have you thinking about yourself in that way. And what you're struggling with that part okay so i feel like i especially like on instagram i try to follow women that motivate me women that are mm. like-minded women that look like me as well like that one is not key. all of the bbl babe no that not one all of the face tune and that, you know that like one? that plays on your mm. mind you feel like oh she look at her she looks so paying and what all she did was her makeup and no honey she filled stuff in her face and she reconstructed and i'm not saying it's bad but it sometimes it dwells in mm. your mind more mm. than you think do you get what i mean so it's very important to take in information that makes you feel positive about yourself podcasts <sighs> you know how i feel uh, about podcasts guys, podcasts are the best the best the best when you walk listen to a podcast at work listen to a podcast like it's literally like music. You'd be there like, damn, bro. It's been, like, bro. I even have a, a playlist. Not a playlist. Yeah, a playlist yeah. of all my ones that I need to, you know, catch yeah. up on. No, it's, honestly, it's great. Another thing, it's if great. you're a Christian, listening to sermons is very good as yeah, well. Good. Like, especially Sarah Jakes. Oh, I love her. Like, I, I feel like for women, she's amazing. Was it? Is it? Is that how the, the young people are doing? No, stop it about young women. <laughs> Babe, no, but do you know what? I'm even going to add to what you said. Because even me, yeah, I used to follow so many like people that were like 
a lot bigger than me. I'm, do you know I'm quite a slim person? Mm -hmm. I'm a very slim person. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> okay <laughs> but anyways yeah and i'd be like oh my gosh like, i, I want to get bigger do you know what mm. i mean and it was just a case of like everyone i'm seeing is just bigger and every that's all everyone's talking about as well and because i i don't actually have that many like friends that are as slim as me i don't even think i have like one or two mm -hmm. so it's also like i didn't have a lot of people and all my cousins oh my gosh all them man they're all they've all got bad or they've got something there and Bro, I'm just I used there. To be and skinny no, you, did. you did used to be skinny, but by the time we actually started becoming friends, you gained weight. <laughs> you went to uni and you came back and everyone was like, oh, I tried, I tried, I tried. I started following more slim babes like me, more people that I can see. Like, do you know what? Yeah, when she's wearing that, that would actually look nice on mm -hmm. me. Because there are some things, yeah, that if Adrian was to wear, I would look, look ridiculous. Exactly, but when I wear it, it actually yeah. looked good. Exactly. And it's just, it's just a lot, it's very refreshing to see and just not be so involved in like, the, the culture, as you said, the culture that is now, everyone's like, oh, BBL, all these Big things. Back. Honestly, it's great to to start following people that are motivating you mm -hmm. and like, you see you see similarities. Like yeah. yeah, it's very it's very key because even when you start liking those posts on your explore page and like your for you page, that is what will start coming out mm -hmm. because I do feel like if your for you page is actually for you. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting Algorithms. triggered by it. It's because that's what you either keep liking or keep responding to. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, it's very good that you did that because you'd be surprised. You like how you feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I want to be a zombie. <laughs> I don't want to be. But there's people out here that wish they could even put the weight you've got on. Do you get what I mean? People are actually, mm, people wish that they could walk. You know, there's certain things. No, but I'm saying like certain things that you look at is like a. Oh my gosh, it's an insecurity to you. Oh. It's like other people wish mm. they could be at least where you are that's at. True, so that's like, true. You know, that's true. Honestly, in who you are. exactly. I learned to. I'm slim, but have you seen my waist? Have you seen her waist? Because I'm still <laughs> looking for <laughs> your gym body, babe. Come on, better recognize. But anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys got the advice you needed. I may even bring her back for another one because I feel like this is your topic. You this know? is my topic. I know I think. You know, know what I mean? I'm all about self health, self love, self love. Honestly, tell really? her if you want me to get back. Socials will be down below. Follow her side hustles. Obviously, website coming soon. Wearing, Ooh. you know, ARK Beauty, mm. Air Charmer, pending with. Wait, is that Yeah, we'll, we'll be back soon, mm. but we still follow up. Just updated. Like, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Hey. Hey.